I did speak with Linda Vester earlier, she, and I began by asking her about that response from Brokaw. Tom Brokaw's pretty angry. He says he was ambushed, says he was perp walked. What's your response? Well, I expected a denial. That is what harassers generally do. What I didn't expect was such a personal attack. And what I'm concerned about is the message that that sends to women inside NBC News about whether or not they are safe to report somebody who is powerful, if they get that kind of backlash. In, in that letter, he describes you as a colleague who has trouble with the truth. Are you absolutely convinced that everything you remember about that incident, those incidents with Tom Broker, would happen? George, my memory of those incidents is crystal clear. The notes that I took immediately afterward are crystal clear. Why not at the time say something to others at NBC and management? Let me paint a picture of what it was like inside NBC News when this happened. I was a young reporter just getting started. Tom Brokaw was the most powerful man at the network. So the idea that I could go forward to management and say that I had been assaulted by the most powerful man at the network and a major moneymaker, well, that just wasn't going to get heard. There was HR, but HR was not considered in any way a place where you could go with a, a complaint about sexual harassment. It was considered a place where you went if your paycheck went to the wrong address. And so, I, for many reasons, I felt it was unsafe to go to NBC, and I never felt safe at NBC News again. Have they called you since this happened? Yes, they called my attorney and said they would like to talk to me. And our answer is, as soon as NBC News or NBC Universal hires outside counsel to do a proper, thorough investigation. I will be glad to sit down. You and don't trust them to investigate this themselves? Well, I mean, I think it's common sense. You can't investigate yourself. You just can't. There's an internal bias. That's how it works. So you have to have outside counsel. As you know, a lot of women at NBC News have come forward. Some 60 women, some of the highest profile women at the network, have come forward in support of Tom Brokaw, support of his reputation as a colleague of integrity and decency. Right. And I support everyone's right to defend, to support a friend. I believe in that. Um, what concerns me is the message that that petition may have actually sent. The, the fact that um, that petition was sent around internally to employees um, could be viewed by many as intimidation, as pressure not to report any misconduct. What would be really helpful is if those women, the high profile women especially, would collectively use their voices to call on NBC Universal to hire outside counsel to really get to the bottom of this long standing, widespread problem of sexual misconduct by multiple men at the top of the power structure of NBC News. You think it's a culture problem inside NBC News? I absolutely do. You said what you want to have happen at NBC News. Is there anything you want from Tom Brokaw? Well, an apology would be nice, but I think he set the tone for the conversation that's not really helpful. What's so much more important is that NBC News not only investigate the culture broadly, but now there are three women. I'm not the only one who have accused Tom Brokaw of misconduct. And NBC News has yet, in over a week, to say that it will conduct an investigation into Tom Brokaw. How do all of us who've, I, I've known Tom Brokaw for years, watched him for years before that, admired his career, clearly has a loving family, friends, how do we put all that in context? How do you put it all in context? This is an important point in the Me Too movement for that very reason, because some people might be tempted to believe that all harassers look and act like Harvey Weinstein. It's not true. Some of them can look like cultural icons, like Tom Brokaw, and they can be decent during the day to a lot of people and actually be really kind a lot of the time and yet still have hidden behavior. We need to really fully understand all the ways that sexual harassment manifests in the workplace um, if we're really going to get to the root of it and root it out so that men and women can work together and mentor each other and be just fine. What's next? Any legal action? I'm not interested in the lawsuit, but nor will I be silenced. I will speak this truth about what happened to me, no matter how uncomfortable it may be for some people to hear, because I want to try to help others. A lot of brave people, brave people, started this movement, the Me Too movement, and they broke the dam. 
and I am kind of standing on their shoulders, uh, but or really following in their footsteps, and just trying to help continue this movement and move the discussion along so that we can make it better for everyone in the workplace. We did reach out to Tom Brokaw and NBC for comment, and a spokesperson for NBC Universal directed us to Brokaw's initial denial. The spokesperson reiterated to us that NBC has invited Linda Vester to meet with them to discuss her allegations. They also point out that their investigation was conducted by NBC Corporate, not the news division, and that they sought the counsel of two outside law firms who validated their investigation. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.